Let's go! Maybe you don't have to rush You can leave a toothbrush At my place At my place We don't need to keep it hush You can leave a toothbrush At my place At my place Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the no makeup look today, but it's summer, you know, so going going natural. Today's video is all about road trips. So I'm gonna show you guys what to pack so that you are prepared, if, even if you're just bringing a little duffel bag. Also, what to bring in the car for like a long car ride because I am going on four different road trips this summer. All my vacations are road trips. Got back from one yesterday, going on one tomorrow, going to the beach. Um, I think it's a total of like 30 something hours of being in a car on a road trip this summer. I'm pretty prepared and know what I like to bring on my road trip. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So this is just essentials and tips and tricks for packing and all of that jazz. If you're going on a road trip this year, I don't know, let me know by telling me in the comments. And also don't forget to subscribe to see a lot of other summer videos because I have some really cool ones coming up and I want you guys to be prepared. So just click this button right here and you will be subscribed for free. It's pretty cool. Also, don't forget that you can shop this video by going to hot.tv, the app or the website. I will have a link below to this video where you can shop all of the stuff that I show just because that's what I do in the summer online shop because who has time to go out in the heat? I sure don't. And with that being said, let's get on into the video. So here is what I like to pack in a small duffel bag that'll last me a long weekend and I will have enough clothes to wear. So I recommend bringing a bunch of basics because basics you can mix and match and you'll never run out of stuff to wear. And yes, so I like rolling my clothes up to save space just like I do when I'm packing them in a suitcase and they also fit better in like a duffel bag. So as you can see, I'm bringing some colored things, but mostly I like to bring basics like this gray t-shirt. It has a cool back, so it's better than just a normal t-shirt but it's still a super basic so I can pair it with a bunch of other things if you want to bring like one cool piece like this kimono or like a cool sweater that's good but I recommend spicing up outfits with accessories because they're smaller and easier to lug around so some good accessories would be a cute baseball cap some cute sunglasses but make sure you bring a case for your sunglasses because you do not want to ruin them on your road trip also some other accessories could be like some necklaces other jewelry um, or even makeup items so Work on that bold lip, girl. Also, you're gonna wanna bring a light jacket and clothes that don't get wrinkly easily. So a denim jacket is the best of both worlds. It's easy to style, keeps you warm, and since it's denim, it won't wrinkle, so you don't have to worry about ironing your clothes while on vacation, which is always a plus. Now, I know it's tempting to bring all your cute heels for all those fun night outs, but it is not very practical and heels and bigger shoes like boots take up a lot of space so instead i recommend bringing one pair of heels and some sneakers or flip-flops which are practical comfortable and easy to pack and lastly don't forget those necessities like underwear and pajamas somehow i always manage to forget these things don't know why <laughs> So now let's move on to toiletries. So I love my bag from It Cosmetics that I keep all my makeup in. So here are a few of my tips. So even though it's a road trip and you don't have to adhere to plain guidelines with size in liquids, I still recommend taking the smaller bottles because it'll save you a bunch of room and won't make your bag as heavy. So transfer your big liquid items to smaller containers and you'll thank me later. Next is to take multi-use products. So for example, this eyeshadow from Maybelline can be used as a cream eyeshadow and also as a highlighter. So, so it's a two-in-one product, perfect for traveling. Next, you don't want to forget other necessities like phone charger. Someone in my family always forgets a phone charger. Camera charger. It's also awesome to have these backup batteries for your phone, whether it's in a case or an external battery like this. You'll definitely want this on the road trip, especially if you're going with a lot of people and you don't want to have to fight over the car charger. Also, don't forget a camera to take those fun summer pics. And if you take any cool pics this summer, I want to see you so tag me. And lastly, you cannot forget headphones, whether they're shareable or ones like these. Make sure to bring them because tunes are such a necessity in the car. Now let's move on to jewelry. I keep all of my jewelry in one bag so it doesn't get tangled with the rest of my clothing or like makeup products. I keep it all in a little bag. You know a better way for storing jewelry? Let me know. That'd be awesome. 
in the car, you're going to want some hand sanitizer for when you get back from those gross gas stations. You're also going to want some gum because I like to snack a lot. Um, so this will keep me busy and make my mouth feel super fresh when I'm feeling gross. Speaking of feeling gross, I always feel gross in the car. So I like taking makeup wipes. These are great to just wash down with if you're in a car for a long time or if you're too lazy to take off your makeup when you get to your destination. These are great. And for any trip, I have to bring dry shampoo because you don't know when you're going to get to really wash your hair and really get that gunk out. And sometimes it's easier to do second day hair when traveling. So dry shampoo is a must. Now it's just time to pack up, grab your friends or family and get excited for the road trip. In the car, I usually like to sleep and <laughs> listen to music. Those are my two must-haves. And of course, you also want snacks. So whether you pack these before or whether you get them on the road, my favorite is to stop once at a when we take a bathroom break at a gas station and get like some snacky treats. And then I also like stopping to get a drink, whether it's Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. Got some snacks halfway through. Yeah. When traveling, I like to wear really comfortable clothes and I like to keep my hair in a braid. That way it doesn't get crazy and messy and by the time I get there, I have some nice waves in it. Also like wearing a hat if you don't want to show your face. And that is it for my car essentials. And I hope you have a fun and safe time wherever your trip may take you this summer. That was it, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped you in some way. If it did, please give it a like. Um, that'll really help me out. Also, you can follow me on all my social medias. They're right here in this little bubble that I made last week. If you have any packing tips or road trip or travel tips of your own, leave them in the comments so I can read them and know and others can read them too. And it'll be just be a really cool place where we can all share our tips and tricks. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next summer video. Stay happy guys. Bye. I'm so over the game and living for the weekend. Let me out of this cage so we can stop breathing